welcome to dynamic foundry group they were going to see a small video on desulfurization process in ductile iron so why desulfurization is required in ductile iron to get proper nodule formation sulfur level required in the bath is 0.02 percent max many times this bath sulfur level is on higher side due to high sulfur in the raw material especially crca scrap and due to mixed up scrap used in charge mix sulfur level also get increased due to higher sulfur level in the carburizer so carburizer is important to reduce the uh, sulfur level in bath so because if using carburizer the sulfur level in bath get increased here to reduce sulfur level one has to get proper formation of nodules and to get good quality of ductile iron required some special treatment in the furnace itself before magnesium treatment that is sandwich made treatment which is called as desulfurization so desulfurization is nothing but a you can say a process which is performed in the furnace to reduce the higher sulfur level in the bath so that you will get good quality of ductile iron and good formation of nodules in ductile iron casting following agents are mainly used for desulfurization process one is soda ash that is sodium carbonate na2co3 second is calcium carbonate that is calcium carbide cso3 these agents are mainly used for carrying out the desulfurization in the furnace check the bath sulfur and then decide what percentage of desulfurization agent to be used to the metal for reducing sulfur to the desired range one has to put either soda ash or calcium carbide in the furnace on the top of the metal and keep furnace on to maintain the temperature one has to stir the metal with iron rod so that it will get mixed up properly with an all the metal in the furnace and the sulfur from the metal will get reduced or diluted some time people take out some 25 to 30 percent of metal in the ladle and put calcium carbonate that is calcium carbide or so, uh, soda ash in the furnace and then repour the metal that 25 to 30 percent metal which is taken back out of furnace back to the furnace so that reaction of calcium carbide or soda ash gets properly done with all the metal that is stirring is happen and because of that the efficiency of that desulfurization agent get increased and the reduction in sulfur level is achieved so effect of sulfurization or uh, desulfurization depends on one is type of agent number two is degree of mixing and number three is metal temperature calcium carbide let us see some properties about calcium carbide calcium carbide is mainly in a granular form powder form of calcium carbide is not acceptable as it will not give you enough recovery and hence the reduction of sulfur will be will not be effective with a powder form of calcium carbide it is important to keep these granules in a closed tin or container as open air it will transform into powder form approximately 0.7 to 1 percent of calcium carbide can be used in the furnace to carry out this desulfurization treatment as calcium carbide is absorbing water or moisture hence it must be kept in a dry condition so this is a picture about the calcium carbide the granular form of calcium carbide you can see powder form is not at all acceptable soda ash soda ash is mainly is in powder form it is also called as sodium carbonate approximately 0.5 to 0.7 percent of soda ash can be used in the furnace to carry out the desulfurization treatment as soda ash erodes the lining proper watch on lining condition and lining life is necessary to keep when you are using soda ash as a desulfurization agent in the furnace soda ash produces smoke and fumes which produces excessive quantity of slag slag generation with soda ash is very fluid and so removal of all the slag after desulfurization is a big challenge when you are using soda ash as a desulfurizing agent soda ash is more effective and better reagent for desulfurization of the metal and hence many people or most of the people prefer soda ash for the desulfurization though eroding lining is one of the culprit of soda ash while it is used as a desulfurization agent we have to keep watch on lining condition and lining life as well so this is a picture of soda ash powder form uh, this is a small 
comparison between sodium carbonate and soda ash and calcium carbonate there is calcium carbide slag produced soda ash it is very fluid in calcium carbide it is granular and easy to remove fumes extraction is essential in soda ash whereas calcium carbide not troublesome silicon loss due to treatment in soda ash it is up to 0.3 percent in calcium carbide it is very small or negligible temperature loss in soda ash it is very large in calcium carbide it is not much uh, as a reaction is exothermic storage requirement both hard to be kept kept in uh, dry condition cost effect uh, soda ash is uh, cost is less than calcium carbide or calcium carbide cost is almost double than soda ash so cost wise calcium carbide is uh, uh, sorry, uh, soda ash is better, but uh, as far as other things are concerned, like the slag condition, then uh, fumes, the loss of silicon, calcium carbide is a better uh, reagent. But people, uh, because of effectiveness of soda ash, because the soda ash gives a good effectiveness in reduction of sulfur, most of the people are using soda ash, and soda is most popular the sulfurizing agent in the world. So this is the uh, effect of metal temperature on efficiency of desulfurization. You can see when temperature gets increased, the sulfur level, that is the total sulfur removed percentage is going on increasing. So around 1550, it is almost 100%, you can say. So you, uh, you have to keep good or optimum temperature in the of the metal in the furnace to remove the sulfur from the metal. So from previous slide, you can see at higher temperature, the more sulfur gets reduced from the metal. So it is important to take good desired temperature while desulfurization for reducing ample amount of sulfur from the metal. So another picture you can see here, you can see the effect of carbon and sulfur. Uh, you can say recovery of carbon and reduction in sulfur with respect to time. So when, with the time, the carbon uh, recovery gets increased you can see with time the carbon recovery gets increased where with the time the sulfur reduction also get uh, increased so uh, time is important factor again so similarly from the previous slide you can see that at uh, with more degree of mixing that is the more time it uh, keep in the furnace or more more you can immerse still the metal uh, still the, the reagent with the metal it will help you to reduce more sulfur just like more degree of mixing of metal with carbon will give you better recovery of carbon so it's very, very important to have enough uh, time allowed for uh, mixing similarly more degree of mixing will help you to reduce the more amount of sulfur so next thing is the cupola metal can be desulfurized and then treated to produce ductile ion so this is a very important factor Hence, the base metal is prepared in the cupola and then it is taken in the induction for desulfurization to make up the chemistry and then treated metal for the magnesium treatment. So, this is one of the cheapest way of producing ductile iron. So, by this way, you can take the metal from cupola, uh, then you desulfurize it, adjust the chemistry and then tap uh, in the induction furnace and then go for magnesium treatment. So, this will give you higher productivity and low cost benefits of cupola and also quality benefits of induction melting together. Deslagging, after both uh, soda ash and carbide, uh, calcium carbide treatment, it is necessary to deslag the metal and remove the slag. And after deslagging of the furnace, adjust the tapping temperature required for the tapping and of the metal, and then you can go for magnesium treatment. So deslagging is very important again, and uh, adjusting the temperature is also very important. So after the desulfurization, please check bath sulfur again and verify the reduction in sulfur level due to desulfurization. This data will give you clarity and percentage of reduction in uh, uh, sulfur. So you can reduce or increase the desulfurizing agent based on that data so that you can reduce your cost as well. Uh, nowadays, due to better quality of raw material like CRCA and because of uh, using uh, GPC that is graphite petroleum coke instead of car, uh, carburizer or twin dish cover used better design of treatment ladder availability of spectrometer and 100% raw material inspection requirements of desulfurization is almost zero so nobody is now using desulfurization method for uh, uh, the producing ductile iron 
so this video is mainly because uh, mainly because to young generation we have not seen this this repression process uh, for their information their knowledge how it has been done why it has been done what are the basic uh, pros and cons of this uh, method to for the knowledge and information this uh, video is made the another way of uh, making this video is because those foundrymen who want to produce ductile INY using cupola duplexing method this video will be helpful to them for desulfurization of metal which is taken from the cupola they will desulfurize they will adjust the chemistry take the temperature and they can then heat treat uh, they can uh, make a magnesium treatment in the treatment ladders for them it will be very useful so that is why this video is been made so thank you very much for patient hearing and hope it will be very helpful to all of you and will be uh, you will be able to implement it 